Now I'm putting the black on to the spots. We need to do this and finish them because we're going to be doing this sort of thing over here in a minute or two and we have to have the, the whole of the colour in the spots. You can't put the black in afterwards. Well you can but it's going to be very difficult to do. Now, I won't do them all, I'll just do a few so you can see and then I'll advance it off camera. But you can see the difference that the spots uh, the black is making and this is, don't don't fit don't blend this this is all left and it gives that lovely furry look to the spots okay well that's enough for the moment what I'll do now is I'll advance the rest of these down here and then I'll come back and then I'll show you the next operation now to make these spots look more realistic what I'm using is the colour shaper on the bottom of the spots and you can see what I'm doing I'm just dragging very very lightly the colour into the lighter tones and we'll be coming back the other way in a little while now this doesn't take very long but once again there's no point in showing every one I'll just do a couple more. Don't spread it too far. It's just got to indicate that they're all part of the same animal and they're not just painted on, even though effectively that's what we've done. We don't want it to look like that. It's, and it's just at the bottom and not at the top because we're doing something else with the top in a minute. So I'll finish that off. And then what I'm going to show you, and let me show you now, turn this upside down and most important now put your paper on it so you don't press on it now any area where you have white like here and here and here and here and here we use the white pencil now you've seen me do this before twist the pencil as you do it and put the white flick it in over the top I've already done that one uh, let's just do this one. Now that's fine, that's all right. Now all of the other areas we're going to use the ivory 103. And exactly the same procedure. Twist the pencil as you do it. I've already done those, so let's just do a few more here. You probably can't see it very clearly, but I've also put ivory in here as well. So this needs to be put in. And of course you can do it at the same time as you do this. Now it does drag back. So every now and again, just pull your, some of the dark color off of your ivory pencil. But it's painstaking but as you can see it works really well and as I say what I will do now is I will do this at the same time as I put the ivory in the ivory just brightens up the color we've got a lovely base color there with the gray and the 187 but now we do need got the idea of that well I think I've done enough to show you how it's working but when I turn that back the other way in a minute you'll see that that does look quite spectacular so let me carry on with that right I'm on the last few spots now and as you can see that looks quite special I've done all the ivory on the top and I did tell you I was going the other way now you don't really have to do this, that, that looks pretty good as it is, but if you really just want it to be a bit special, you come back the other way with the, with the ivory. Instead of, you're, you're kind of now almost trying to pull some of that colour back in. It's quite hard to do, but you can see it's quite effective. It just tidies it up a little bit on the, on the bottom, that's all. There we are. 
No, that, that didn't take long, did it? But that looks very good. You see, they look really furry, don't they? Now, we now use the 187 again. This was used originally for putting in the base colour. And we blended it. Well, now we use the same colour. And some of the areas are lighter than others. So you can leave... You don't have to put it dark all the way. I mean, for instance, that bit there, if you wanted that to be light, and I do, then I'll just bring the 187 around it and pick up. Still put a little bit in, but not too much. And then there's another area um, here, probably where the spots are, or the area between the spots are the greatest. And you can just leave a little bit of light there. Now that's very, very effective. And when you see that, Uh, finished it's going to look great now you notice I'm holding the pencil a nice sharp pencil and I'm holding it a certain way this allows me to keep the pencil really close to the paper so I can get the angle nice anyway you can practice that now up here Up here we have a kind of a mixture because it's coming off the face. Oop, you can't see that. Sorry, folks. This area, you see, that looks a little bit um, rather than it's a scumble, for want of a better word. Well, you can do that here, and it, it kind of comes down to about there, and then it. I think the, what happens, the fur gets a little longer. And when you come to there, you can start doing the strokes as I've showed you so it moves from this little scumble area to strokes and that looks quite effective I might as well show you all of this now nearly there once again leave a little bit of light there and you can pick your own spots I probably tend to make it a little darker in the corner the bottom but there we are now we've got some light light if you felt you wanted to add a little more then you can always put a little, just a little bit more ivory in to um, so you could even put if you really feel like a bit ambitious you could put a little bit of white in as well that would brighten it up but i don't think you want to go overboard here that looks really nice now that's coming along beautifully but there is one more color and that is the 283 283 will give you the strength so now you, you choose your point you don't want to do this all over just in spots where you want the just a little bit more strength so, and generally speaking it would go on top of the 187 don't put it in the light areas and the ivory it really is just the, adding a few dark hairs which in which the picture and I can show you all of this as well because this isn't going to take long you can always go back in afterwards and add a bit more if you feel the need now when it comes to here we've got that transition between fur the longer fur and the scumble so this is what I did here earlier <coughs> 